Lens diffraction, another one of those topics that you don't really want to talk about, but we all know it's there, so let's do a little bit of a school day today. This is a test of the Zeiss 55mm 1.8, one of the sharpest lenses for the system. Now, if I was taking this picture, there's two ways of doing it. You can either go for f11, f12, f13, try and get everything in focus, or you could take a picture with a focus point here and then a picture say at the focus point here and then you can merge it both together and I've got a video on how you can do that. But at what point does it all start to go pear shaped? So this is at 5.6 that we're looking at right now and everything looks very nice. It's all sharp, it's all in focus, everything looks great. What happens if we compare this up against an F22? Well, I'll show you what happens. Full size versions of all of these are available on the link below, so you can go and look for yourself. Now, if you're viewing this on a phone, it might not be too easy to see, but what I can tell you is the photo on the right looks like it's been taken through a muddy puddle, and the photo on the left looks beautiful. And that's because of diffraction. Now, the one on the right is gonna be hard hitting us, a stunningly, stunning the f22 which is just no good for anybody so i hear you cry what should we go with for this particular photo well let's bring them together and see if we can find the magical sweet spot so let's go for some sort of middle ground here to see if we can get where it would be no loss for either so on the left now we're at f10 and f14 on the right and if you look at the foreground here we have some nice focus so that's all good let's now just go out slightly have a look at this building here which is something that i like to look at i feel it's quite a good indication really of what's going on with the lens and, and yeah they're they're both looking quite nice so uh definitely F10 still still for the win. Let's just drop it down one. Uh, ah, okay. Yeah, you really don't have a lot of loss there. So I think F13 is where you want to set your limits. If you can get away with eight, nine, 10 or 11, all well and good. F13 on a full frame, this is A7R2 probably unless you're really in a pinch f13 seems to be where you want to be stopping stopping the game really before you start stepping in to that diffraction so with that in mind let's go for f13 okay oh yes this is where you can really start to see the problems arising and this is f18 on the right again if you're on a phone you might not be able to see this, but download the full size versions from the website. And yeah, that's not looking too hot. Let's see if we can spot anything F13 and F14. Um, we've got now the F13 is on the left. And yeah, you can start to see it in the trees a little bit, especially on this as well. This area here. So, so yeah, for this 55mm 1.8 Zeiss, I put a little note to myself that F13 is about as far as you can push before diffraction. Now, diffraction, when you're looking at it like this on a phone or something, at these levels really isn't going to cause you crazy problems. But if you do want to keep things sweet, F13 is where you're at. And as usual, guys, it's been emotional.